it's just wonderful to see um, how it impacts the kids. The kids come sailing out of the experience and they are just ready to take on the world. I can do anything I want with this instrument. There's no, there's no bounds to where I can go with it, and uh, it's a, it's a freeing experience. I can't express how much of myself that this rock orchestra experience has allowed me to draw out. As soon as I joined Rock Orchestra, I knew that it was going to be exciting, it's going to be public, and people are going to know about it. And it's just, for every kid out there, he gets his chance. electrified, amplified, rarefied, bonafide entertainment, the Mark Wood experience with the Youth Rock or Orchestra tomorrow night at Robinson Auditorium. It comes to Central Arkansas with an interesting twist. And joining me now, first of all, is Mark Wood, rock violinist who played 13 years for the Siberian Orchestra, um, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, and has appeared with Billy Joel, Celine Dion, and Lenny Kravitz and more. Thank you for yes, coming. Yes, my in. pleasure. And joined by, seated next to him by his wife, Laura Kay, vocalist for tomorrow night. Yes. And Heather Isbell, who is the director, but also volunteer and producer, one of the producers of this fabulous yes. show. And Heather, we'll start with you. Tell everybody what will happen tomorrow night on the stage of Robinson. Well, Auditorium. tomorrow night, what you're going to get is a giant rock concert with Mark Wood and the Mark Wood Experience Band. It's a group of professional musicians that Mark's known all his life through his professional career with 130 string players, brass woodwind players, and singers. This giant youth rock orchestra, my youth rock orchestra. It'll be tomorrow night, 7.30, Robinson Auditorium. You can get tickets still at the door, and it's sponsored by The Point. 
the 94.1, the radio station, and it's just a really fabulous, incredible, moving, emotional event. Oh, it looks outstanding. And Laura, first of all, these are electric instruments. These are, and a lot of players, where does the vocalist come in? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Saves the show, is that it? Absolutely, push everybody out of the way. <laughs> Adding the choir just brings a whole other element into the picture. So, and the audience isn't expecting it because we have this beautiful string program and the choir just comes out of nowhere and boom, it's a whole other level of energy and these kids are just superb. Oh, it looks so much fun. Mark, an electric violinist. Are you classically trained? What's the story here? Yeah, I went to Juilliard and had classical background, but the second I heard Jimi Hendrix and Eddie Van Halen, that's what I wanted to do. But there's no instruments also, so I built electric violins back when I was about 10 years old. I started. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and been playing them ever yes, since. Yes, absolutely. And one of the things that impressed me in watching the video, y'all, is mark how you play to the young people. Is that by design? Is that are you trying to teach a lesson here? After 30 years of a wonderful career about reaching my dreams, we felt it's critically important to give back and invest in the next generation and invest in these kids and really empower them so that they can also achieve their dreams also. So it's a great opportunity for us to reconnect with the youth and, and give them clues and, and secrets to how we survive being creative thinkers. So play us something as we close out the show. Absolutely. I love it. Get it. Okay. Remember, the news is always on today. TAB.com. Good night, y'all. <laughs>